Nemo Radio is on the air. A, B, C. A, always B, B, C. Closing. Always be closing. Always be closing. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Put that coffee down. Coffee's for closers only. Come after me! I'm a man! I'm 40! Hey, it's John Nemo. Welcome back to another episode of Nemo Radio. I am so fired up because I am about to leave the frozen hellscape (laughs) that is Minnesota during the winter and instead fly away and land in sunny San Diego. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm so excited. I'm going to be speaking uh, for the second straight year at Social Media Marketing World, this huge conference out in San Diego, California, and I cannot wait to get out of the doldrums, the gray, snowy, mucky, gross, cold Minnesota weather and land in San Diego where it's 75 and sunny all day, every day. You better have perfect weather for me. That's all I'm asking, San Diego. But I thought I would share on this episode as I'm heading out there my strategy behind this because I used it last year. Last year, I spoke on LinkedIn there as well and how to use LinkedIn to find sales leads and and you know generate business and, and that's what I'm doing again this year but I really went there with a game plan last year and it really was effective and so I thought I'm going to share with you what happened last year and how you can you know what I'm going to do this year and then how you can implement the same approach at the live events or conferences that you go to whether you're speaking and presenting whether you're just attending this is kind of my game plan my blueprint for when I do go to a large conference what my strategy is now the first thing that's kind of interesting is I go in completely looking at winning business. I am there to build my personal brand, connect with people, and try to pull clients out. And last year, I was able to pull out three kind of high-level five-figure clients, which was fantastic. That The goal was just to get something, you know, to pay for the trip and everything like that. But, but I was able to walk away with some great business. And here was the strategy that I used at this conference and what I'll probably replicate again this year. And it's a strategy that you can use as well. So the first thing, when you think about going to events and conferences, everybody's walking around, okay, almost everybody, handing out business cards. The people that are networking, the people that are kind of trying to connect, it's here's a business card, here's a flyer, I want to tell you about my awesome product and why you should buy it, or you know, people are already hitting me up ahead of this year's event, like, I have this great thing for marketers and I want to show you a demo, and I'm like, I have no desire to have you pitch me, like, I'm not here for that, and so here's the approach that I took. The, the first thing was, and again, I guess it depends if you're going to the actual conference to learn or if you're going because the networking and the business opportunities are there and that that's why you're going. For me, it's the latter. It's really about I'm going in to try to win business. And so obviously I have the ability to be a speaker and everything, but what I did last year, and this is the unglamorous part that nobody talks about, was I literally spent seven, eight, nine hours a day in the hallways and in the lobby just talking to people. Like I didn't, I literally spent zero seconds in any of the sessions. And by the way, this is the top social media marketing conference in the, on the planet. Like people from all over the world come. It's a who's who of speakers and presenters. There's all kinds. I'm sure I didn't learn anything, but I'm sure there's great, incredible education going on there. Incredible presenters and speakers, dynamic presentations. I didn't spend a single second in any sessions. What I did instead was I wanted to meet and talk to as many people as possible and give them something of value that helped me stand out from the crowd. So what I did ahead of time was I said, what's something I can give people that will help them remember me and also build my brand and qualify them either now on the spot or later on to become clients or prospects or get on my list or different ways to kind of grow my audience. And so what I did was I looked at the existing content I have and one of the things I have is a book. I actually have eight books I've written. And so what I did was last year I printed copies of two of my books, hard copies. So LinkedIn Riches and content marketing made easy. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with the publishing industry and self-publishing, if you've done this or not, but it's very, very easy now 
to once you publish a book on Amazon through their program and you know self publish everything you can print your own copies for a couple dollars like literally depending on the size of the book how thick it is I think LinkedIn Riches I can print author copies for like two dollars a book so literally what I did was I printed several hundred books so I spent four or five hundred dollars to print like I think two or three hundred copies of LinkedIn Riches and it was uh, content marketing made easy was slightly more expensive because it was a bigger thicker book so there's more pages so those printing costs were like three or four dollars a book so I probably dropped a thousand dollars on printing books and then I had them all shipped to the hotel in San Diego so that I wasn't trying to carry them on the plane (laughs) So when I got to San Diego, I got, I went to the hotel, to the mail room or whatever. I got, had them deliver these boxes of books into my hotel room. And I remember, you know, tweeting out photos and I literally loaded up my rolling suitcase. And for the next three days, I walked around the lobby, meeting people and giving away free copies of a book, a paperback book. And the big difference was it was a great conversation starter because what I could do is walk up to people sitting at a table or a group or people in the hallway and just say, hey, would you like a free book? Well, who doesn't want a free book? Like there's nothing sinister about that, right? (laughs) And so instantly people are like, sure, free, free, free. And it was different. It wasn't, would you like a free business card, right? It was, hey, do you want a free book, like a tangible you know, something to read on the plane. Like that was another line I used. Hey, you're looking for something to read when you fly back, got free books. And so everybody wanted a free book because there's nothing risky or dangerous about it. I'm offering you something of value for free. I'm not trying to sell you anything or say, hey, come on over here. I want to do a demo. So what I could do is I could say, hey, would you guys like a free book? I've got a couple copies of my free books. One's on LinkedIn. One's on using content to win business. They're like, yeah, actually, I'm interested in LinkedIn. Give me that one. Or, oh, yeah, content. Give me that one. I'm curious. So what I would do is I'd give them the book, and then I could start a conversation. So, hey, where are you from? What are you doing here, et cetera? Get to, get to know them. And then inevitably, it would pivot back to me. And, oh, what's your story? You know, you're just walking around giving out books. <laughs> I'd be like, well, actually, I'm doing a session on LinkedIn, and here's what I'm going to be covering. love to see you there. So I was kind of prepping my people that were going to come to the session, inviting them personally. Here it is on the program. My favorite speaker is going to be here this year talking on LinkedIn. You got to see him. They're like, who's that? I'm like me, you know, like self-deprecating sense of humor. But it worked really well because, again, the first principle was spend all the time in the hallways talking to people. And that's the opportunity to meet people, to build some quick rapport. What's your story? Where are you from? And I would go straight Dale Carnegie, how to win friends and influence people, where I made it all about them. Like, tell me your story. Tell me where you're from, what you're up to, what you're trying to accomplish. Like nothing about me, right? Unless they asked. And then it was quickly, here's what I do, but more about you, more about you. Because what you learn at these events is people, and this is true in real life, and this is my lead generation strategy as well as We love to talk about ourselves. We love to talk about ourselves all day, every day. That's our favorite topic and solving our core problems and the guiding philosophy of my business, my lead generation, what I do at live events is this line from how to win friends and influence people where Dale Carnegie says, your ideal client, your ideal customer does not care about you. They care about themselves morning, noon, and after supper. So when I walked through those hallways, it was all about them. What are your what are you up to? What what are your big challenges right now? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to solve? Tell me more, tell me more. And people were happy to, right? Here's what we're looking for. And that positioned me just as somebody that could listen and give advice and give ideas and say, oh, cool. Well, if you're looking for more lead generation help, you're going to want the LinkedIn Riches book for sure. There's a lot of quick wins in there and I get more in depth in the session. So hopefully I'll see you there, et cetera, et cetera. Some people I would even say, okay, you sound like a really good fit for this program. Do you want me to tell you more about it? Sure. And then we would, I'd pitch them right on the spot, right? And I walked away with three clients at that level where typically what happened was I gave them a book the first day. They followed up with me on the you know conference app. And the next day we met, had sat, had a longer one-on-one conversation. They're like, yeah, I was looking through your book and went on your website and the hotel room last night and blah, blah, blah. Like, this looks really good. Like, how do we do this? And I would close them in. And so that's the approach. First was really spend the time in the hallways. Second was give them something of value that is different than everyone else. So it was something that I knew either here on the spot, you're going to find value in this book if you're sitting around reading it between sessions, reading your hotel room, 
More importantly, they'll take it with you. Take it on the airplane, take it back. When you get back from the conference and unpack your stuff, you're going to have a stack of business cards. You're not going to really remember those people per se. You are going to remember, you're probably only going to have one or two books, if any, and they're from me. And they're going to have my whole philosophy, story, strategy. And since I personally gave you the book, a lot of people would ask me to sign the books for them as well. There's that celebrity factor of, oh, you're the author. Can you sign my copy? Like people love that stuff, right? So so then it was more personalized. It was a great personalized gift instead of, you know, the typical business card or the tchotchke, like here's a, you know, charger for your car. Or here's a, you know, earbud or whatever. It was like, this is actually something of value, a book specifically on how to get a benefit you want. So getting leads with LinkedIn or getting business through content. So that way, and I had a lot of people follow up with me after the event, like, hey, I finally got around to your book or I read it on the plane. It was really good. Tell me more. What I'm going to do this year is a little different. I'm I'm going to still bring printed books. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm also going to bring like a, a card or a larger kind of postcard size, you know, glossy handout. And I'm going to still say to people, hey, do you want a free book? And then what I'll say, if they say yes, I'll say, well, do you want it? Uh, do you want the audiobook version, the Kindle version, or a hard copy, or everything? And what I'm going to do is have these little cards, and I'm going to have people with their mobile device on the spot. They can zap the little QR code on the card, and it will opt them in to get my audiobook for free or the Kindle file delivered to them for free so they can read it on their device. And the reason I like that idea, and I'm going to test that this year, is People love to listen to audio. They love books on the go and podcasts. I already give away my audiobook for free at linkedinriches.com. You can download it. But rather than making them take those extra steps, I'll just have a little QR code on there. Just take a picture of it with your camera. It'll bring you right to the opt-in page. Put in your information while I'm standing there talking to you. And you can have the audiobook and you'll download it on the spot. Also, now you're on my email list. And now I can follow up with you with a specific campaign or sequence around the book, around the conference, around the event. And then what I'm going to do is say, hey, and I really hope you come to the live session. I'm going to actually be giving out books at the live session. That was the other thing that really helped was spending those early days talking to people, handing out books, inviting them to my event. By the time people came and my session came around, I had a packed room like because I had invited a lot of people. I had promised if you come, I'm handing out more books. So then in the beginning of the session, I had like an extra 100 books still. People, I mean, they were like tackling each other to get free books. Like, oh, who wants a free book on the topic of today's talk? Like not a piece of paper, not a handout, an entire book. There's such value in bigger pieces of content, especially a book. So it was great. I felt like a vendor. I'm like, who's ready? Who needs it? And I'm like tossing them into the crowd and people are like pushing each other. It was all, like, think of when you go to sporting events and you're in the arena, and they shoot t-shirts into the crowd, people love it, right? Or they drop stuff from those little portable blimps, and people like want to grab the free, people love free stuff. And so that's the other thing is, it makes you more memorable. As a speaker, as a presenter, have something unique that you give to people. And you have a limited supply. So there's incentive to get there early and to get a copy, or you know to have me sign it afterward. And so then I was able to do the speech, then people would come up afterward and talk and I could sign books and, and you know commiserate and do follow-ups. And I think where I'm going to take it to another level this year, though, is having that still a physical card, but where you can scan it and then get you on the list. That's one thing I learned last year. I'm like, I'm handing you a physical book, but I'm not having you take the extra step to get onto my digital platform and opt in so that I can send you content. Now, I have calls to action in the physical book to say, hey, if you're liking what you're reading in LinkedIn Riches, go to this URL and get training videos and free bonus tips and tutorials so people opt in that way, all with the goal of driving them to get on an on-demand webinar to buy an online course or to get coaching and consulting or done-for-you services. So there's a lot of moving pieces, but it really is a powerful approach that I found for me works really well. It helps you really stand out from the crowd in the hallways and with everyone else handing out stuff or trying to pitch or give you cards, I didn't... I mean, I had hundreds of cards after the event. I didn't remember who any of the people were, right? And I was like, I think that person did this, and I don't know, and you just don't follow up with it. But 
something physical, tangible, a book. It's it's on your desk. It's you read it on the plane. You pass it around. You give it to someone else. That really lays a foundation for kind of that long tail marketing. So those are a few ideas for you. If you do live events, if you do conferences, give that a shot. Get something you know more physical, more tangible that you can give away to people that brings value. And again, it all comes back to content marketing. I'm handing you a piece of content here physically that will help you solve some core problems that promises you a benefit. And if you consume that content, you start to pre-qualify yourself because you get to know, like, and trust me. You hear my story. You see how I'm demonstrating. I can help you. Now there's calls to actions to follow up with me. Instead of me just giving you a card, pitching you for 30 seconds, and then you're into the next person or whatever. So I hope that helps. I hope you're going to Social Media Market. Well, if you're going, please find me or hit me up on the conference app. I would love to talk to you. The other strategy I'm going to do before I finish up I'm going to do a meetup this year. They have official meetup rooms and things like that where try to gather people around an interest and be a facilitator. It's almost like hosting a party, right? Like, hey, who's interested in this topic? I'm going to facilitate that. And if you're not the expert on the topic, you can still host it and, and invite someone who is an expert to come and present. But that's just that power of connection and meeting people and being a hub for activity is another great thing you can do at these live events. So with all that said, man, I'm going to pack the sunscreen. I'm going to pack some, you know, shorts and t-shirts. I'm going to escape the snow. I cannot wait to get out of this muck and mess of Minnesota and see some sun. So thanks for listening so much to this episode of Nemo Radio. If you do want those free books that I mentioned, you can get those anytime. Uh, I'll put episode uh, show note links here, linkedinriches.com contentmarketingmachine.com you can get those books still for free online so even if you don't run into me at the conference you can still get the content for free see how the business model is working so there you go thanks so much for listening i'll talk to you soon on another episode